So we are at RIA's Innovation Conference in Newport, Wales. Um, so far been a fantastic event. Um, I'm here with Darren Kaplan, um, RIA chief, essentially. Yeah. Um, I could worse things. Like, yeah. <laughs> we chief can choose whatever title you want, chief executive. Chief executive. Yeah. Um, so Darren, how's the conference going so far? Well, I'm, I'm really excited about it. People seem to be enjoying themselves and getting interested in content. It's our largest um, rear innovation conference ever. We've got record numbers of sponsors and exhibitors. We've got, I think, 800 people coming over the door over the two days. Uh, so lots of exciting things uh, happening that I'm in, you know, enjoying already. Uh, there's a lot of networking opportunities. So as well as the speakers, we've got uh, a future-focused zone. We've got exhibitor spotlights. Um, we've got a country village this evening with street food where people can mingle and talk about the issues of the day. Uh, we've got students coming in tomorrow, so mm -hmm. uh, an open day tomorrow for students. Uh, so it's really quite exciting. We've got all kinds of uh, different types of industry here as well. So it's not just uh, the rail industry, so we can learn from them. So um, from my point of view, it's a really interesting um, uh, conversation. Already we've had um, Uber got highways coming later, got the Met Office coming later on, so it's not just rail and we're trying to learn best practice. So all in all, lots of great content, lots of people, lots of network opportunities and it's our biggest ever so we're, we're hoping for a great couple of days. It really feels, I mean so far anyway, um, there's a lot of interaction between different industries. Um, how would you say the rail industry is collaborating, collaborating at the moment? Well, I mean, in the past, I think it has been a bit of a silo. You know, it's, it's a very old industry. It's been going for 200 years next year. Our trade association is going for 150 years oh, wow. next year. And I know <laughs> so we've got a birthday and we'll have celebrations which will be invited to, uh, no doubt. But I think there is a lot more now integrating um, uh, transport modes, trying to work close together. So you have to work with bus and cars and roads. You have to work with aviation and shipping and have an integrated system. And if you can encourage and, and get more people um, onto rail because they come to the railway through other modes and that, that has to be the prize. And I think other modes want to learn from each other as well. So, you know, uh, in terms of customer service, there's a lot we can learn from aviation in terms of, you know, long distance uh, travel, ticketing, which is something that, you know, we're, we're launching our paper tomorrow on retail and ticketing. Uh, and, you know, can we get more dynamic forms of uh, people using the rail network a la aviation and other transport modes. So there's a lot of that going on and just sharing good practice. And um, you know, I think these kind of events enable people to come together and talk about the issues of the day. And innovation is key to that, because innovation is something you can do in any transport mode um, and you can modernise. And, and so that's what we're seeing here. I know in South Wales, they're looking at the light, light rail or the metro system in South Wales. And that's going to be a very modern form of transport, modern uh, uh, forms of ticketing already. They're looking at a kind of Oyster card, which, we, they don't, which is the only one outside of London. Um, so there's already innovation that people are learning from each other and these kind of events bring them together. Is there a particular innovation you'd like to see this year that hasn't already started? Or is um, it too, are we too far in already? Yeah, I, 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 I'm just excited about the innovations we're seeing here at the conference. I mean, yeah, we've already had robotic dogs. I love those. <laughs> well, the robotic dog got on stay pride this morning, yeah. so I'm quite excited <laughs> by it. But the Robotarium and Cranford University have got robotic dogs. We've got um, uh, University of Birmingham doing stuff in augmented reality. We've got IBM doing stuff in artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. We've got 3D printing. We've got kind of energy and emissions calculators for work on rail. So there's so much innovation going on. And I'd, I'd say to anyone, go down to the exhibitor halls, go to the other areas around the conference and talk to all the exhibitors. And th there are innovations all there. I can't say that there's dominant innovation, mm -hmm. but I think there's lots of innovation that, that you know, gets the juices flowing. Yeah, really exciting. Um, RIA is 150 next year, GR, Global Railway Review, is 30 this year, our Pearl anniversary, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be around for the 150, going to be honest, um, yeah. but a Pearl anniversary, do you have a Pearl of Wisdom for the industry? Well, there's lots of pearls of wisdom, uh, you've, you've talked about uh, the people here, people have got lots of sony comes to rail. I think the main thing from you guys, first of all, congratulations on your 30 years and, and GRI's done a great job and it's it very, very strong in the international scene. I think from Rear's perspective, we do it on exports, mm -hmm. so if there are ways we can work together on generating more exports work, more goods and services, sales overseas, 
um, UNIFE, which is the European Trade Association, has a global market study, mm -hmm. and it shows rail growing 3% every year to 2027. And so we can all have, get a part of that action, mm -hmm. working together. The intelligence you guys bring, the, the information you know what's going on around the world, if our members can harness that, then everyone uh, succeeds. So the pearl of wisdom would be, let's push on with exports in the years ahead. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.